Hello, I'm Chef Ricky Webster on behalf of Spokane Public Library. In our new cooking series, Around the World in a Bowl of Soup, we are exploring other cuisines from around the world and what makes Spokane a melting pot. We are going to look at these comforting soups that many other cultures celebrate to share during this time of winter, especially with you. We're hoping to highlight the diverse, multicultural people that call Spokane home. From students to home chefs to professional chefs, our presenters are hoping to share with you just a touch of their culture and a delicious soup that we hope you can try or get inspired from. We're kicking off this series with a recipe from Alondra, a student from Washington State University, and this is actually her class project. Alondra is bringing us this delicious Mexican soup, which is, it's more like a, a fish soup, and she's using shrimp and salmon, but you can use a wide array of whatever seafood you like to comprise this soup. One of my favorite things that Alondra does in this recipe is uses chayote squash. This squash is widely available. I've seen it in plenty of grocery stores in and around Spokane, and it's got this firm, uh, potato or, or squash-like texture. It is actually a squash, but it's very, very dense and firm, which means you can cook it for a long period of time and it won't turn to mush. So try using that in plenty of other applications. It's wonderful in any type of soup or even baked along with potatoes. Uh, makes delicious like baked fries that you can do in the oven that are maybe a little bit healthier for you this time of year. Uh, but that's delicious. And then Alondra is using the guajillo chili. It is dark, rich, red, beautiful chili, but don't be alarmed by it. It is not spicy. Uh, it is wonderful. She's cooking it down with the tomato and then uses that broth inside of the soup as well as pureeing the seeded, rehydrated, reconstituted dried pepper that she starts with. So take a look at this. We hope you enjoy, and we hope it inspires you to make something along the lines of what Alondra does. Hi, my name is Alondra. I am a nutrition and exercise physiology student at Washington State University. And today I will be teaching you how to make a delicious brothy shrimp and salmon soup that's commonly consumed in Mexico. Vegetables that we will be using are zucchini, carrots, celery, uh, potatoes, chayote, which is a Mexican pear squash. Seasonings that we will use is black pepper, oregano, and salt, as well as this flavor cube. And you can find it at any ethnic market. Uh, we will use onions, tomato, garlic, and chile guajillo peppers. And don't worry, these peppers are not spicy. They just add a very bold um, flavor to the broth. And it adds a lot of depth. And this is definitely the star of um, the soup, are these peppers. Without these peppers, the broth will not be the same. <laughs> First, we are going to start with preparing the sauce. Um, which is going to be the broth and you want to use four pep peppers and because I want more of a bolder flavor and I want more depth I'm going to go ahead and add two more so we want to simmer those and get them nice and tender so I added that to the small pot and I'm also going to go ahead and add the tomato along with that and I'm going to turn the heat up a little above medium heat and get that going. I'm going to go ahead and add half an onion into the medium pot, about four cloves of garlic into the pot. So this soup was origi originally just a shrimp soup, but you can alter however you want. The way my mom makes it is she adds salmon. And that's how I will be preparing it today. You can also alter the soup. So instead of using shrimp and salmon, you can just use chicken. Um, you can use 
tilapia, so a different kind of fish. It's really up to your preference. You can even just use vegetables if you're vegetarian. The tomato and the chile guajillo peppers are already nice and tender, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn off the heat on that. We're gonna go ahead and add the chayote and the carrots. Into the water. And we're gonna let that cook for about five minutes. So taking a look at the chile guajillo peppers and the tomato, you can see how nice and tender it is. And the skin of the tomato is basically falling apart. And then we left our chayote and our carrots in for five minutes. And so now we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our vegetables. Let that cook for about 15 minutes and while we do that we're going to work on our broth and you're going to need a food processor or a blender took out the seeds of the chile guajillo peppers and it was pretty easy to do because they're already so tender i did reserve some of the water from when i simmered the tomato and the chili peppers and i just threw some of the some of that water in to the food processor and so i'm gonna add the tomato next and the peppers i'm using half of an onion because i want it to be very flavorful and then i'm going to add about three cloves of garlic throw that in there along with one cube of the soup seasoning Next, I'm going to add some oregano. I would say half a teaspoon, along with some pepper. And remember, you can always add more seasoning if you'd like. So it's really up to your preference. You can also taste it as you go. You set aside your sauce for the broth. We're gonna go ahead and chop up some cilantro. I would say about half of a cup of chopped cilantro is enough for a medium sized pot. So it's been cooking for about 10 minutes. So five more minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and add the salmon and the shrimp. So now it's time to go ahead and add the salmon and the shrimp. So here I have my salmon. I'm gonna place it in there. Now that I've added the shrimp and the salmon, we're gonna make sure that that gets nice and cooked. So we're gonna wait a couple minutes. Once you see, you'll be able to tell when, when um, the salmon and the shrimp are ready. As that's cooking, you're gonna add your salt and you can add it to your liking or preference. Also, you can go ahead and add more pepper. It looks like the shrimp and the salmon is already cooked. So we're gonna go ahead and add the sauce that we blended earlier. And you're gonna let that cook for maybe about five minutes and after that it should be it should be good to go and now this next step is optional so you can add cilantro lime and hot sauce so i use this one and avocado is also an option and then you have it with a side of saltine crackers you can also have it with um, a bread roll or tortilla and that's it